So in a really quickie pickup game, thousand points. It's Mason yet again. Meow. My guard versus his Bill Tan actually. Oh, Bill um, Tan and regular Harlequins. Yes. So the objective for tonight is taking hold. Basically, let's say this little soaker right here. Deployment is touching the tips. I get the ruse card because I'm at 50 power level. Uh, let's not use tactical objectives for this game. It goes too far. So. Yeah. Uh, Starting with me, my warlord is a tank commander, an aluminum rust demolisher with plasma cannons, las cannon, track arcs, and an a argolu, argol. Oh my god, I cannot speak English tonight. Forever. Yeah. Anyway, um, then I got a com company commander right here. He's got a power power fist, and he's got a plasma pistol. You know, I don't off my models tonight. There we go. Right there. Oh, fancy and complex camouflage. -y. And I'm running with two squads of two armored fist squads and Camaros, both for rocket launchers. And oh my god, my phone is being bad right now. Okay, here we go. So, heavy bolt for Flamer. This is the squad that's not inside the Camaro. And the Camaro is rocket launcher, grenade launcher for both squads. Uh, track arcs and heavy starbursts on both. Heavy motor right there. Armored Sentinel with actually a multi laser tonight. Sniper team. Vindicator Assassin. Oh, Gilly Bop. That's my stuff right there. Mason, impress me. Alright, today, since you decided to overload your shit on the way here, I decided. Actually, before that, I was like, how many shuriken cannons can I fit in a 500 point list? But then he decided, eh, fuck it, let's go for a thousand. So, of uh, the Bell 10, this is a proxy. I have my Farseer, which is the Warlord. This has the Warlord trait where it's plus one wound, and on sixes, I ignore wounds. I have the Lone Warlock. He is being proxied today to have the spear, just because of points. One unit of three bikers with a uh, shuriken cannon. Second unit, all shuriken cannons. A unit of four, three shuriken cannons, and he's being proxied to have the regular because I didn't have points. And on to the Harlequins. I know you can't see it too well because I smush everything together. But I do have a WYSIWYG Shadow Seer. Alright. Yep. And of course that will have the... Uh, Fog of Minds Psychic Power, which is I cast it and it's minus one to hit a target mask unit. So it can only affect Harlow cards, ever. Nice. And then, I have two units of five Harlequin troops. All of them, just for sake of ease, have the uh, Harlequin Blade, AP minus one, one damage, essentially, and a Fusion Blaster. Because I don't trust you with tanks. I wonder why. And then last but not least, uh, Two uh, Star Weavers, that's the dual shuriken cannon, because fuck it, Star Cannons, why not? Or exactly. Cannons. I forgot that I had the Harlequin Bikers made and built, but eh, fuck it, it's too late. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens after the deployment. It's the setup. Um, think uh, my Ruse card is going to be cool, because it's going to definitely help me out in this open terrain. Another unit right there. Awesome. Because Mason, guess what I have? Dug in. Which is? Basically, um, any of my units that are not in cover count as being in cover as long as they stay in place. That's nice. That's pretty good, actually. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, Mason. So, you got... So, the deploy before me using capital to approve rules. So, let's roll to see who... Station. Uh, reroll. Yeah. Three. This should be able to beat me. I get a plus one, right? Yes, you do. Whee! See you the initiative. Oh, yeah, you Oh, so close. Mason, to get first turn. So, Mason, tell us what you did. Well, I moved all my guys into a clusterfuck because they can all move 16 inches. And the rule book does not force us to stay one inch away from friendly models anymore. So they're all clusterfucked here. Everything can move at least 16 inches, so I'm not too worried. 
Yes, they're using, they all pretty much have heavy weapons except for that little guy. So it's going to be minus one to hit because moving. Uh, battle focus does not apply because they are heavy weapons, not assault or pistol. So, they will be minus one to hit you, which is good for you. However, uh, psychic phase. Uh, they got concealer reveal from the warlock. Farseer. Doomed. Let's put the card away. Your warlord, who has more than 10 wounds. And fortuned this four man squad over here. Uh, just for note, the Shadow Seer is not actually right here. It's actually just to mark that she's in that one. Okay, well, let's see what happens at the end of your shooting phase. Sam, tell us what you did. You actually did pretty good this turn. Thanks to Doom. Yes. And, we... well, a combination of Doom and the Baltan trait for the jet bikes. Basically, every jet bike that had range shot into the Lehman Rust because that fucker is going to kill me later on. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I did, you know, and these also did. Because fuck it, why not the Shuriken Cannons? Let's try it out. They could not reroll the wound. And by the way, it turns out the Shuriken Cannons are assault weapons, not heavy. So I didn't have the minus one to hit. Anyway, everything is shot in the Warlord. So, but they did get to reroll the wounds due to the angst to Doom. Because Doom does not care about faction, and when you read the card, it only cares about the target. You're correct. Apparently. So now, it is the guard who will go and fire back. I can't get them off this, this turn. No, hmm. it's your reverse. So I assume you're going to shoot everything into them. Then next turn, they can move out of there, and then I won't be able to get you off just because of sheer number of fucking bodies. You're correct about that. <laughs> but yeah, they moved out, and they moved out. Time for the super fun shooting phase. Technically, it was APC, but still. Lucky you. Anyway, too much being lucky. I got lucky tonight. Oh, God, I wish I did. Anyway, um, so this combination between X Squad, the X Squad, X, the X Chimera, and the Lehman Rust right there. The Lehman Rust is what did pretty much all the damage. Yeah, the plasma cannons actually killed the whole squad off. I did diddly squad with the Laz guns. But the heavy bolt, I mean the demo cannon, the Laz cannon, uh, well, one shot at the demo cannon shot at that, knocked off one wound. The Laz cannon shot over here. And, did, and the save, he saved it. Hooray! Yeah. Uh -huh. There's two guys missing from this squad out yeah. of three. Oh, yeah. And that was from actually over here, and I did pretty okay. Um, my assassin actually got off a shot at the first here, knocked off one wound, so that was pretty good. Now, we are counting down, just for the people at home. Yes. Because my roller trait, apparently, first years on jet bikes are six wounds normally, so that puts it up to seven from the roller trait. Oh, and on a six, I ignore it. Unless it was mortal. No, oh well. Yay. And then, uh, morale check for these guys. For that yes. guy, I should say. Uh, normally seven minus two guys, so that brings it down to five. Roll the five. You're good. Does not die. And before I forget, I did have a tech priest on my list. I hardly use him, so I forgot. Yeah, fuck it. But he did give give uh, two more wounds for the women rust. So at the end of at the end of the turn or beginning of your next? It's the beginning of my turn. Oh, in my movement phase. Ah, well, fuck it. It's good then. Yeah. Anyway, so now it's Mason's turn. First off, first here just kind of shuffled over. All the bikers that were over here made a. Uh, Use the words, they can do it, I believe in you. Fuck you. May, basically, cordoned off the warlock. No, so the warlock's in the middle, so you can't touch him except for that douchebag over there. Well, and these D bags over here, too. Oh, they're snipers, too? I got. Anyway, otherwise, I was, all, well, I'll put everything else. I uh, moved this guy 16 inches up, Move that 16 inches up, but the original 16 inches was actually over here. And yes, we're being depraved, technically we can't do that, but screw it. Well, but because we want to be... Or not far here, the, this guy is actually in there. The Shadow Seer. Yeah, the Shadow Seer, she is in there. She used the Twilight Pathways, which lets a friendly unit, so I was able to target this thing right here. Move as if it was movement phase. So, 
we got depraved. And then, because it's full of semi unit, Smite. Smite only did one, but I'm actually doing really well with the psychic shit. And then it is time for the fucking uh, shooting phase. Can I, I see? have a lot of fusion pistols. Can I say one thing? Throw it, up, throw it up my tailpipe. Oh, technically, you're shoving it up my tailpipe. <laughs> We're horrible people. And I backed into it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty thick gun too. <laughs> Furbug stubby. I mean furbug chunky. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see what happens next. And well, any other weapons? Do they have flamers? This squad right here? Uh this squad. Grenade launcher. They have grenade launcher and yes. flamers, so no auto hits. So while Mason right. thinks about that. I'm going to assault with this into the thumb. Yes. Okay, well, Mason, before they do that, tell us what you did in the shooting phase. Okay. Shooting phase. I shot fusion blasters into that. Now it's off a ton of wounds. Only got three left. Yep. And fusion blasters went into that. Yeah, well, Almost a traitor. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was not the fusion blasters that actually did it. In. What did it? Uh, it was a combination of... I see Shadow here that is actually in here, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, failed with the hallucinogen grenade launchers and the shuriken pistol. Oh well, tried. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, what was the. Did it end? Oh yes, it was these two bikers back here. Oh yeah. That finished him off the last two wounds. Because he had a uh, rending kind of. I needed. Oh, that end too. Yeah, that really did help your ass. And this guy tried to shoot there, but, yeah, fuck it. These guys tried to shoot their shuriken cannons in him. Yeah, fuck it, didn't work. Uh, Warlock shot into them. Singing Spear, which I forgot to mention from the video, missed, rolled a one. And then the twin shuriken catapult actually killed, what was it, two guys? Yes. So that's barely a morale check, but still something. Yeah. But that'll have to wait until after. Morelshek will have to wait till after I assault here. Well, let's see what happens. Well, Mason actually got in there. His little huddle jet thing with Bob actually killed two poor helpless guardsmen. But my guardsmen did poke the flying thing with Bob with a bayonet. And, well, got two hits. But one, two wounds. But one was a save, one was a fail. So, yeah. Pass on leadership if that, if that helps at all. Yeah, and it was a minus four too. Yeah. Well, so, kind of 50 /50, so. Yeah. So, let's see what happens at the end of my movement phase. Yeah, uh, my guardsmen fell back towards the enemy because they're <laughs> guardsmen. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my tech priest actually moved up because I'm going to go and actually anal anally violate that thing with Bob without. Power fist. It's not violation if it likes it. Huh. Oh, my shooting phase was pretty fun. Um, so what did I kill? That's the question. A lot. Yes, actually I did. So, um, first off over here to make this really easy, between the Chimera, between the guardsmen, and the heavy, and the heavy motor, they had all knocked out the uh, remaining... Two man squad. Yeah, the... the two, one man? Yeah, the one man squad was killed by... I'm trying to remember who it was. Hmm? Yes. Because they shot at this and him, right? My goodness, I'm so bad right now. No, so these guys shot into him. Every bolter shot into him, did nothing. The Camino shot everything and it, that did nothing. <laughs> then they couldn't do anything. So the guys who got killed, it was between um, the Green Camino. The guardsmen and they were they did split fire. It was a rocket launcher, grenade launcher, but the grenade launcher and the rocket launcher failed. Um, heavy motor did finish up that last remaining guy who was fortuned. So I take one thing down at a time. So now it's your assault phase because Mr. Tech Priest <laughs> dies in Overwatch. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> Go on, Tech Priest guy, go. He was so lucky he has a 4 pin bullet will save. The axe missed both attacks. The, um, the silver arm did get a solid hit. 
did wound, but he got a freaking six for the armor save. Invol, yeah. yeah, because of the invol save. So, yeah, that was not fun. Mason, it's your turn. Mason did a lot of moving actually this turn. Um, it looks like you had your Harlow Kings move. They moved. Those guys moved. Even he morphed off the objectives so that he can possibly help shoot that shit. Yeah. Uh, and then the psychic phase. I what? probably should have just nudged him over, but fuck it. Yeah. I really should have. So, psychic phase, what did you do? I did pretty much everything that I could try to do. Uh, this, the... Shadow Seer, operating still out of this vehicle, still inside. We're just using this marker right now. The tip can see these guys, and you can see him. So, what we did is we used the Fog of Dreams. They are minus one to hit any Harlequin infantry units. Only infantry, so these guys are these guys. Uh, see, oh yes, and by the way, all the Harlequins moved out of their vehicles before the vehicles moved up here. Yeah. Uh, oh, so you can see where all those fuckers are. Didn't say the same. Uh, Warlock smited. And them killed three. Mm hmm. Lucky you. Uh, I did attempt smite, but I think it failed over here. Yes. And I attempted to. Uh, let's see. Fortune on him. Fortune, and that failed. So, very much a failure today, very much a success. Like always. And they're about seven hundred points, I think. Yeah. And he's actually not doing terrible. Oh, like, it's only got doomed actually by. Oh yeah, by the far. But that's right. It was. It wasn't smite that I did. It was uh, doom. Yeah, because if it was smite over in those guys. Yeah. So. Yeah. Doomed over yep. there because it's within twenty-four, not necessarily visible by the card. Correct. And. So. I think that was really it. So Mason, it is your shooting phase. Okay. Something better die. Looks well, like Mason's thinking. Mason, tell us what you did. Okay, so I can stop thinking for a moment. Okay, more so to that at the end of the turn. Yeah, I'll do this other shit first. Alright, they shot into that. One wound. Fuck. They shot into that guy. What was that guy? He went boom. Well, he didn't go boom. But yeah, he, he got destroyed, yeah. They shot into, I forget what. No, this shot into that. I forget what this shot into. Oh, that shot into them. Oh, yes, this killed, what, one guy? Yeah. Um, uh, this shot into them as well. Shot into them. Attempted to shoot both the pistol and the phantasm, hallucinogen, not phantasm, hallucinogen grenade launcher into them. Uh, pistol got somebody, but the hallucinogen grenade launcher it does not say anything pro or against modified leadership. It compares against leadership. It does not say before, after, before or after modifiers. So I don't know if it if it does apply to does use modifiers that have been made so far. Then he would lose two more guys. If not, he does not lose any. For now, we're playing it as he does not right, lose any, because so it does not specifically uh, say. Right, and so. And I really, really want it to be. <laughs> but for now, what I'm really thinking about is, do I want to charge with anything? If so, what? You got have a vehicle for them. Can you charge out of a vehicle? Um, yes, because all vehicles are technically assault vehicles now. But what I really have a question with is, do I want to assault these guys into that, attempt to assault into that, or even that? Well, this will probably assault one of them. Well, no, maybe him, because I already got shit over here. We'll find out. Okay, let's we'll see what happens. Again, right? Correct. And look at this. So, you actually, he killed my poor little tech priest out of all the attacks. Made all my saves. That was awesome. But, sadly, I did daily squad back to him. So now it is now my movement phase. And it's three points per objective that I got, right? As long as you keep them for two turns. Okay, so I, it has to be this one. I get three. No, this one. Uh, this okay. one out here I get three for, right? Yes. And then do I get any for that other one? One. I get one for that other one? Yep. Okay. 
Okay. Well, let's see what happens in my shooting. My goodness, my movement phase. So, for some odd reason, my tech priest, he doesn't want to stay in close combat. I don't know why. He wants to go repel the Chimera that got two health back. And I forgot about the fact that you can daisy chain shit. Uh, otherwise, I should have charged him that hard as well. Oh, well, Mason, there's always next time, right? My goodness, my phone is being bad today. Um, so, starting off. I can't remember the name of these guys. Star Weaver. Star Weavers are the floaty boxes of doom. Almost uh, everything has the Weaver stuck in it, for fuck's sake. It's an Xeno, and they must die. That's all that matters. Okay, um, over here, I'm trying to remember what knocked this thing out. It was... The Commander did Diddly Squat. The Squat back there. Yes, it was the Heavy Bolter, actually. Knocked that out. Um, yeah. Then it was, um, because I had the, um... Rerolls of one and the rerolls of hits. Okay. All the guardsmen and the flamer right there. Um, shot into the uh, Holocaust squad right there. Knocked all of them out. Thank God. Um, they did deadly squad. The snipers actually and the vindicator assassin. Actually, the vindicator assassin is the one that actually did him in. No, the vindicator assassin actually shot at the forest here. Knocked off a wound. No, three wounds. Knocked off three wounds, and I was not able to use my uh, Warlord trait to ignore. Yes, you're correct about that. Then the three samples over here knocked out the Warlock over there. Um, so, it was pretty good. Um, I'm not doing any assaults because I am the guard. I would rather stand and shoot. So, Mason, your turn. So, screw it. Yeah. So, Mason, they did a lot of moving, actually. Like I, kind of, I forgot that I don't really... Turns out, I, I thought about this right. after... I moved the shit. I don't really need any more points. Does he I have, do need to survive. Because you have 12 victory points, I got four. Yeah. I just need to kill, and I, so I should have moved this further back here. Yeah. Or hell, advanced it over the fuck here. Yeah. Um, but fuck it. It's too late for that. So, uh, attempted, or no, did the smite against that fucker. Because he went boom. Screw it. I got to do something else. I don't really feel like relying on my shooting right now. And then I did the. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, yes. uh, that one is minus one to hit. Fog of Dreams. Infantry. Yep, Fog of Dreams. And then the Farseer decided to doom them and failed to fortune him, him or herself. Excel. Uh, I can't really Jimmy. tell with the model if it's male or female, so. Uh, oh, no, yeah, it is actually dude. So he failed to fortune himself. I said I should have moved these guys, this actually for the back, and yes, this is still just a marker. But fuck it, it's too late for that shit. Uh, let's go into the shooting phase. Over here, uh, Fusion Pistol killed one of the crewmen right there, Only sadly. One hit. Yeah, one out of three hex. How does that make you feel? A four and two one's not good. <laughs> uh, but they did do um, the hallucination grenade over here. And they did, did they kill one. And the shuriken cannons did zero. Yeah. So now it's the my turn. Nope. My assault. Dang it. Uh, make overwatch against the harlequins with your mortar. Oh, I will. Trust me. Watch. The abyss. Yes, what he said. Um, Because... These three Gala Quins got in, killed my poor mortal crew, and now they're falling back because they're wussies. They've been shot enough. They don't really like you right now. I wonder why. Hmm. Go fuck yourself, San Diego. Yeah, well, anyway, now my turn. Half, oh my god, my camera. What was that thing, 12 inches? I take priest, how many wounds do I get back? Yes! Three. And for those of you at home, I've basically uh, given up on destroying that thing. Uh, well, Ta-da! That thing should be fucking dead. It should be way worth the 45 points. Okay, well, shooting face. Well, it's my flame over here. Flamed those damn Xeno scum over there. Very happy with them. Good job. But... I knocked out the last remaining Star Weaver with 
first thing it was, it was the... I knew it. Like I said, I knew I should have... Oh, no, it was, it was the rack launcher right here. It knocked him out. Yeah, I should have been back here. Right? Yeah. But, uh, my, between my assassin and my snipers... Well, between my vindicator, my snipers, the chimera... The chimera did the damage over here. Yeah, the chimera right there knocked off the wound. My snipers did damage on him. Just the tent. Yep, and he's got one wound left. All right, he can't see them. Though. Yes, he can. <laughs> oh, then what? I don't think I can then. Uh, so he's still got three. Okay. It'll My bad. Damage. At least I. Do. Uh, I only noticed it when I was looking at them. That was good. I don't remember exactly. Sounds. I thought that was from him. Yeah. No, I'm trying to think. My. I'm trying to think here. These guys shot at. Oh no, they shot at the Shadow Seer. No, he shot at the, at the Shadow Seer. Oh, I thought he shot at that. No. These guys shot at. Good thing they both have four pinballs. Yeah, um, either way, from over here. Hold on. Uh, over here, actually. No. These guys? No. The Cypher Rifles didn't shoot at the Star Weaver. What did they shoot at? Oh, no, no, I did. Um, these guys shot at something over there, but they all failed. <laughs> oh, must that must have been the Star Weaver then? So that. Uh, I think yeah. so. Either way, they all suck. So that was my shooting phase. I have nothing to assault. Uh, Mason. I need to survive this turn, and then I win. Oh yeah. So that's it. This is turn four. This. No, that's now. Now this is five. I thought we were going five. Yeah, wait, 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 hold on. Let me stop this. Last turn, and he using the staff to actually be able to see. Well, so it was a bike. Oh, no, I will actually. I will have shooting just for you giggles. The jet bike is hidden inside here. <laughs> because with the jet bikes on Eldar, you just add six remove characters. Uh, I can still see like the tip of the spear. <laughs> yeah, I can still see him from here. Yeah, barely. Yeah, I still can though. Mason. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 they can't do it. They can't do it. It's on a ball. You can't do it. Oh, well. Um, so, is that it, Mason? Uh, yeah, fuck it, why not? Let's just shoot the giggles. Okay. Shoot the giggles, first the pistol, hits, uh, strength four. The, uh, strength toughness seven. So, yeah. Wound, just for giggles, it's AP zero. Oh, no, one damage. Oh, no. The fog mines did go off on this guy, by the way. Yes. And then the, uh, hallucinogen. Hits. Does hallucinogen actually do shit? Seven against your. Seven. So d three. Hey. So it doesn't break me or anything. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. It's it's go. It's damage for shits and giggles. True. That's the most damage that weapon has done all game. True that. So that is a total of four damage to your chimera. Well, let's see what happens in my turn. So, basically my turn was move those guardsmen up there. Then I'll quite say they'll Then I shot with the Chimera and the Shadow Seer. Then the Guardsman charged into the Shadow Seer. Killing her Killing her. Okay, killing her. Thank God. But the thing that really pisses me off the most <laughs> this the, the most douchebaggy thing possible one wound left after shooting him with a vindicator assassin who caused three mortal wounds on him but due to warlord trait not mortal wounds my bad three uh three damage to him yep. chimera heavy bolter still one wound left all because of the one warlord trait that adds one that adds one wound and Makes it a six up. Hey, just ignore shit. Wait, so it's both of them, correct? Yep. Okay. Because I thought they were talking about like they had like two roller traits. Nope, it's the same one, baby. Okay, so <laughs> I am at five victory points. You're at. Nope, I'm actually.
Yeah, six victory points. My bad. No, oh, five. My bad. Yeah. Five versus your twelve. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. If you did done to a single model with one wound because of the warlord trait. Yeah, and That's if you it. didn't take that super warlord trait, you would have been. Oh, I'd been dead. No, if Sansa butts about I would have lost this one. That and if they didn't kill that thing. This turn. Yeah. Well, I mean, if they didn't kill this, if they left this thing alive. He would have been able to shoot into this fucker. Yeah. Yeah, would have been dead, 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 dead. So, Mason, this was like your fifth game they actually won. With this one, it was a combination of Bell 10 Elder, which being Bell 10 saved my ass in the first half of the game. Because of the whole re-roll shuriken weapons, or re-roll the ones hit on shuriken weapons, saved me. World of Trait definitely saved me at the end. I did forget about the Shadow Seer's Protect from Harm ability. So I might have lost, maybe, maybe have lost one less Harpoon. Maybe. See, like, that's the thing, like, with you, with you and I. I know, um... A lot of other people, if like their battery perks, they it seems like they are they're really good at memorizing this stuff, or they play, do this professionally, or they may just focus on one army. While you and I, we focus on well. Wait, let's focus. I focus like a squirrel, like a person. Exactly. <laughs> um, no, I think um, we just need to learn, like, try to remember our rules. Um, one or two armies, maybe. Yeah, but I mean, it's nice of a game of virality, you know, um, try to see. Nice. Yeah. And I actually don't do think that using a more more of a variety of armies, I f especially with playing Dark Elder for so long, does help how I play with the other armies. It does have an effect. And I do, that's one of the reasons why I really like Dark Elder, but they got BS rules. So they're kind of useless. Unless you take them as an Ari. Yeah, but you're not only that was that was actually pretty. It seems like that's the most um, hardest list. Yeah, most hardest. Hey, <laughs> giggity. Is you, the, you're right for your best list to you? Um, yeah. yeah, because the Dark Elder died rather easily, so it pops off usually a psychic power. So what I'll let you do tomorrow is actually well, I just build tomorrow. Build or something yeah. like that. Well, we'll figure out something. I don't want to get us to get too long here, but the guardsmen they held the line. At the end of the day. So. Oh, we're retreating. So. Yeah, so you actually, uh, before I shut this off, you killed a total of, let's see here. How many guys were over there? Six. So they killed. Five here. Still left. So that is 15, because it was 10, 5, that's 15. Didn't kill anybody over here. Killed three over here, so that's 18 guardsmen, plus the tank. Plus Which the Sentinel. Rarely ever destroy. Plus the Sentinel. So... That thing should have been fucking dead. Yes. Tech Priest, I think from now on, I'm going to definitely get one of those things because... Like, 45 points. Well, that and for your Chaos, it's perfect for the way you play. That... If... That Tech Priest is to you what this Warlord trait was to me. Only if I kept that my Demolisher alive. <laughs> I needed to kill that from the get-go. And you did. Time. You did. That really did have to die. But anyway, so I'm going to wrap this video up because it's getting too long and it's getting too late. And it's going to be a pain in the ass to save. So, till next time, guys. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe next week. I do not know. But soon. Thank you for joining us. And... Sig Xeon.